as good as it gets is finally here on blu-ray and on 4k guys we start off with melvin putting greg kinnear's dog down the garbage chute it establishes right away melvin is not likable at all and it continues on he goes out to eat he's mad because he has certain people at his table and he's he, he needs carol's attention the waitress played by helen hunt melvin is just po'd and then he overhears carol talking about her son and his his condition and nicholson delivers the line like sir doesn't sound like your son's gonna make it and then carol stands her ground and goes off on melvin and puts him in his place for maybe one of the first times in his life and that scene we were told on carol's side as an audience and to this point we don't like melvin but it's a very key moment in the restaurant where are we going to buy them for the next two and a half hours and it it achieves it. James L. Brooks, his script is very unique, very risky, very much reliant on the performances. And that scene where Helen Hunt and Jack Nicholson go toe-to-toe, it establishes that Carol is not going to mess around and take his crap. She puts him in his place, and then from then on, the characters grow on us. And then in the third act, they team up, and they go on a road trip, and they have different perspectives shared in the car. The bonding here, the unique character arcs. Carol, she's having trouble dating, finding finding somebody that will date somebody that's a waitress, lives with her mom, and has a kid. Melvin, who's a writer, very successful writer, he's mean to everybody, wants to be left alone, wants to just write and, and live his life in this solitude bubble. Comes to find out he has OCD, he has all these panic, anxiety disorders and stuff like that, social disorders. Greg Kinnear plays a gay artist and his art dealer is played by Cuba Gooding Jr. Greg Kinnear gets beat up and he has a dog, Ordell. Jack had thrown down the garbage chute is now pushed on him to take care of by Cuba Gooding Jr. He's like, you take care of it because Cuba is the one too who also stands up to Jack. So he cans the dog off. He's like, you take care of it. You handle it. This throws off Melvin's whole life, like his whole routine thrown off by this dog and the dog kind of brings melvin out of his shell he becomes closer with carol he he actually offers to help with the kid he becomes this charitable character and the and it wins the audience over that whole character arc he comes from this very unlikable beginning and it, it goes all the way to like we're rooting for helen hunt and jack nixon to be together at the end and share warm roles. This is an acting clinic. You could not cast this movie better. You could not have written the script better. I mean, this is just, it's its, it's a miracle this movie works. And it's one of those films that was nominated for the heavy stuff, like Best Picture, Best Director, but it was winners for actor and actress, which is a rare feat. And I think Greg Kinnear should have won too. So this is a brand new 4K restoration of the 35 millimeter print loaded with special features there's commentary featuring james l brooks jack nicholson helen hunt greg kinnear the making of as good as it gets deleted scenes behind the scenes footage which i thought was great there's some behind the scene footage on here of actually on set james l brooks directing greg kinnear in, in certain pivotal scenes so you kind of get get a feeling of what the set was like a fly on the wall type aspect theatrical trailers so great movie great restoration this is so colorful dolby vision dolby atmos you know you the hans i think it's hans zimmer yeah the hans zimmer score really pops really gives a nice warm feeling to the whole movie if you're looking for a fun comedy romance and drama all in one that feels like a new york play this is the movie right here as good as it gets one of my all-time favorite movies if you guys have seen it let me know below what you guys thought of it what do you guys thought of the new 4K restoration? This truly is as good as it gets. And thanks again for watching. This has been Return of the Disc. I'm Dan. For more Return of the Disc, visit returnofthedisc.com. Check out the audio version of today's show, available on all major podcast platforms. And be sure to subscribe to the YouTube channel.